No lie, Kai is the best dancer I've ever seen named Kai. Fucking case closed. And I'm excited to see what this next seven hours of video is gonna be. Let's go. Seven hours, let's go. The everything, I love everything so far except for the fact that there's donuts in the ground. It's a lot of temptation. I like that guitar. I really like that guitar. Hold on. Let me write that down. GTR. That's short for. What the fucking hologram? Well, okay, obviously he's fucking, uh, fucking amazing. But I'm actually looking at the, the the hologram, not the hologram on the side, but the one behind him. And I'm wondering if that's him with like a wig or something, because that was also super, super crisp, but it was only there for a second. What? Dude, come on. Those fucking pants. Okay, by the way, whenever I see any type of cube visual, there's a cube, there's people dancing, probably for the next 28 years, I'm always going to say just to focus on me, one of my favorite songs I've ever heard, and it also has a lot of that cube visual going on. I'm just saying this is dope, but you should fuck with that song. You should go listen to Just To Focus On Me if you don't listen to it. If you like Kai and you like dancing and you like the fucking cube and dancing inside the cube, you should do it. Ooh. Hold on. That one moment when he like whipped his hand up to the top. That's some ninja shit. I'm not gonna go into it, but I actually recognize this keyboard for some like some K-pop shit this year that I really love. But I don't want to cause like wars. But I actually recognize that. I re not the not the actual chords of the keyboard, but the patch that they're using. It's so good. I love it so much that like, as soon as I hear it, I'm like, it's that one. Okay, so you know what? I can't, I cannot deal with everyone. There's just not enough time in the world to do that. So I'm going to deal with people who love EXO and they love Kai. I'm going to deal with you. Just you. Everyone else, they can go fuck themselves. I'm just talking to y'all right now. And I think it's really easy to focus on how good he looks and how chiseled his body is. And he just looks great dancing. 
But he kind of already does that. You know, basically as far as back as we can go, he kind of does that. I think what's better is that the actual track sounds good and his vocals on the track sound good. I think that's the big takeaway because I don't think you would expect him to look bad or, or do a bad job dancing. So I think the fact that the, the track sounds good is worth more. Oh, this is the one from earlier. Oh, so on this little track right here, something that I've not really heard, because there's effects like I've played with in the past and like, you know, nothing special. People play with effects. And so one effect that we have is this detune, which is not the same thing as trans transposition. Like when you transpose, you just take everything and you, you move it by a, a certain amount. But a detune is almost like, if you can think back to a record, think back to a record, or a cassette tape. So like if you had a cassette tape playing, you could take your finger and you could push it like on the spinning wheel and you could get this detune effect because you would slow down the spinning of the wheel. I never found like a cool way to use that, but it's, it's happening right now. Like in this last 15 seconds, you're getting this detune, a uh, temporary detune, like where like somebody puts their finger on a cassette tape. Right here, hold on, back up. Right here, right here, right here. Right there. But it's not like one, how you can really tell the effect is this not one thing that's happening to, it's the entire sound, not, but maybe not the entire sound because the, the keys I think are consistent, but everything else has this wobble to it. Which in this environment almost sounds like even though he's like standing up on top of uh, this really dry environment, kind of almost has the effect of being underwater and drowning. If your eyes were closed, I think you might think you were underwater and drowning. Okay, so everything right now is actually super selfish. Yes, all of Kai's dancing has been great, but he always dances great. I am very happy that all of these so these uh, songs just sound like really, they sound great. And a lot of times when someone's making, I'm going to take a second to talk about Taemin. You can get mad. You can leave. Um, but when I listen to like a, a lot of Taemin, I have this relationship with Taemin where he has some songs that I think are just breathtaking, just absolutely some of the best songs I've ever heard. And there's other songs that are very artistic, but I don't really, I don't want to hear them again. You know what I mean? Like I just they don't resonate. And right now I think about Kai, I think almost all of these songs just sound great as songs. And then we get to see some dancing and performing. So I'm I'm actually selfishly excited that like all of these songs seem like listenable. Just like put them back on and check them out again. Shout out Mortal Kombat, Kung Lao, shout out. Actually, out of everything, this is the, the so far, this is the most far out track.
Okay, so I think I think I'm actually like in a fucked up position, which is when the solo albums were coming out and solo artists were like doing their thing, I would have gone with uh, Chan Yol, Baek Yun, Sehun. I would have put them at the top as my my favorite thing to look forward to. But hearing this like sampler platter. I think actually Kai's album might be better than all of them. Which is weird, because like, yeah, I would, I'm would. i always going to go for Chan Yol. Like, I want Chan Yol to be like, the best. Uh, and Baekhyun had some like, really great tracks too. But, it might actually be that Kai's is the best. Not that it's a fucking competition, you fucking haters out there. You know, like, why would you put someone versus somebody? Like, I'm just talking about how, like, I feel about it. As I was re-listening, and some of Bacon stuff that I didn't love earlier in the last month, I've really been liking some some of the Bacon stuff the first time I heard it that was solo. I didn't really feel like uh, anything in particular about it, but in the last month, I did like it more than I previously had but I think maybe there's a chance that the Kai thing is going to be better than all of that at least as far as like how I like it with the dance vibe the aggression vibe interesting dude interesting good for him fucking good for him reaction done <laughs>